Hi, today we're going to practice rounding to the nearest 10 and to the nearest 100. And we're going to do it an easy way because we're going to use a poem. This is the poem. Find your number. Look next door. If four or less, just ignore. If five or more, add one more. All right, here we go. Let's get started. So suppose we had the number 43 and we want to round the number 43 to the nearest 10. Well, I'm sure you know from previous lessons that the three is in the ones place and the four is in the tens place. Okay? So as the poem says, first of all, we have to find our number. So we're looking for the number that we, we're going to round, we're looking for the tens place. So we're going to go to the four, that's in the tens place, because that's our number. We're going to look next door and it's a three. Is three, four or more? Nope. So four stays the same. And then the three changes to a zero. Whenever you are looking for a place value, you're looking at the specific place and then all at, when you figure out what that number should be, all other numbers change to a zero. So let's practice it again. Suppose you had the number, let's say 41. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna find our number, which is this four. We're gonna look next door. Is that number four or, or more? It's not. So the four stays the same and everything that's behind the four would change to a zero. Oh, we have the same number. All right, so let's switch it up a little bit. This time, let's look at the number 62. And we're again, we're looking for the nearest 10. So the first thing we wanna do is find our number, which is the six, cause we're looking for the tens place. And we go next door. Is that two, four or more? It's not, so the six would stay the same. And then everything behind the six would change to a zero. So 62 to the nearest 10 is 60. All right, so let's go ahead and try to round to the nearest 100. And this is very similar to rounding to the nearest 10, but you're going to look for, you're going to start off with the numbers that are actually in the hundreds place. So here we go. Suppose you had the number 200, oh, we'll say 37. So as the poem says, find our number. We're looking for the hundreds place. So this is the ones place, tens place, hundreds place. So we look at the hundreds place. We look next door. Is that number four or more? It's not. So the two would stay the same. And every other number behind that two would go or change to a zero. So 237 to the nearest hundred is 200. All right, let's try one more. Suppose we had to round, let's say, the number 400 and I'm gonna say 58. And we're rounding again to the nearest 100. What do we do? We find our number and when we find our number, it's in the 100th place, it's a four. We look next door. Is that number four or more? It is, so we're going to add one to the nearest uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna add one to the number that's in the hundreds place. So four plus one is five, and every other number after that would change to a zero. So there you have it. And let me switch back here. Let's do one more, and I'm gonna erase this so we won't get confused. We're gonna do one more, and we're gonna change it to the nearest 10, okay? So suppose you had the number, oh, let's say 30, seven. All right, here we go. As the poem says, and again, we're rounding to the nearest 10, find the number. Here's the number in the tens place. Look next door. Is that number four or more? It is, because it's a seven. So that means we have to add one to the three. Three plus one is four, and then everything else behind it becomes a zero. So 37 rounded to the nearest 10 is actually 40. Let's do one more. Suppose we had the number 20. Oh, let's say eight. We're rounding to the nearest 10. Find the number in the tens place. Look next door. Is that number four or more? It sure is. So we're gonna add one to the two. It becomes a three. Every other number, I'll put 
plus 1. Every other number behind the 2 becomes a 0. So 28 rounded to the nearest 10 is 30. There you have it. You did a great job. I'll see you again soon.